Here I am the second time in the Vendée Globe and I thought I would be more relaxed, but I'm not. My name is Boris Herrmann, I'm 43, I'm German and I live in Hamburg. Um, and it's certainly a bit paradox, uh, there have been moments in the last Vendée Globe uh, and I re remember very clearly where I called our team manager and my wife and I said, please, um, if ever I want to do this again, remind me of this situation where I'm absolutely convinced this is, uh, I should ne never try to do it again. And yet here we are and uh, doing it again and it's, it's what brings me out of bed in the morning and um, it makes life some way easier in the long term to have a big goal. have expected to be super relaxed uh, two months before the start but I'm actually becoming getting very nervous and uh, can't sleep at night and I don't know really what's happening still it is uh, a leap into the unknown you never really you're never really certain what to expect and so I, I feel the excitement of this one more than ever The best moments for me in the Vendée Globe or any of the offshore sailing are those where we forget a little bit about the race. Really looking forward to those moments where I forget time and distance and I will be just in my own little bubble. So maybe you have sailed a week or two weeks. There's this mountain of time and distance ahead of you. Ah, the Vendée is, can also be quite scary. Uh, being alone for three months. I, I really like to be around people and so I will, will miss that a lot and it will be a huge contrast for me. The nice thing about the offshore race and each time we come back we're a little bit reborn and renewed and see, uh, see normal things through fresh eyes.